the markswoman of the wood. Just don't give them an easy lane up top, and Sox and Resolution are having a very difficult time dealing with oh, even that double helps. melee. Who just got time locked on the bottom lane? Combine that with the fortunes end. Moo's gonna go down. First blood, it goes to wings. And on the top lane. Yeah, Misery's rotating her out. Faith. So low resolution, lower, cold embrace is still available. Now Misery will arrive. Ice Ice, Fire Strike is just going for the last swing, trying to find resolution, but these searing arrows doing the early damage, the DC required. That arrow fly down, there she is. Resolution will find himself a kill. Well, it will be easy for Mu to deal with that if he was level six, but doesn't have the Chakram available yet. Another heavy rotation to top three from either side. They stun on resolution. Taran as well. Sasa, he needs to get that cold embrace off. But Oracle has more than enough magical damage. Misery with the bar strike forward. Wants the next assassin. Doesn't have the damage output, but maybe with the help of the Wyvern, he will have it. Misery to the tree line. The south is actually going to get cancelled off. It was the caustic finale that did it. And now Faith, 28 life. Will it be enough? Is he going to pop? Faith barely survives, dropping down to eight at one point. And another tower. Yeah, without oh, right. the committal of exorcism, this is a troubling sight when you can't even hold your tier ones. Misery looking for a kill, epicenter. Uh, with a timber chain into Chakram, they commit the epi too. Innocence will walk into the side of it, but now we can just use Fortune's end. Slow down Misery, it will connect the follow-up stun with the mana burns by Carapus. The curse is out, it holds Oracle in, and Mu comes in with a Chakram, but false promise. It will keep Innocence alive as he TPs himself away to safety. Mu still looking for something, actually he's just looking to get the hell out of here. Exorcism is triggered. The stun is on Moo, and it's gonna be Wings holding the Timbersaur in position. No, the chain up, the last attack from the Death Prophet will find the kill. The supporters arrive for DC. They arrive in with a big searing arrow damage. Faith makes a break for the tree line. Still alive, triggering dust too. So no extra impetus for resolution. Time lock, not gonna be enough from Shadow as Weeha, Cold Embrace, Resolution, the torrent is oh. gonna connect the double stun. Faith the end, he walks himself out, he walks over, he wants the last finishing move, he won't get it. Ice, Ice, Ice will finish him. The torrent, it may not be done yet. Sucks just set up in towards the air. X marks the spot. You ain't going nowhere apart from down to the Brimy Deeps. Faith doesn't have enough for the stun spike. Arab stop unless you connect over on Misery. He tries to create space. No timer from Shadow. Time will forward. Now he finds the kill. More TP support arriving from DC. Another connected to from Ice Eyes under Misery. Stuns. Chakra forward. Moody to turn the tire. This fires Misery. The one charges will keep him back into it. He can go for another Burrows Rack. It's Moo. Time lock for a century. He wants to walk out to the T1 Towers. No stuns available from Nixon. Assassin, but these ones really playing dividends. Oh but my goodness, what ungodly teamwork coming out from Wings next to the Saisha. It's not over yet. Innocence is coming over the Akrono. It's on Weeha. Innocence brings the damage. Weeha, he is gonna pop like a top. They look for more. Ice Ice Ice. Where is it though? The Ice Ice X Mark's not gonna hit. They uh, turn around, look to the T1 Tower. I'd like to see some maybe backdooring we are resolution. Playing stuns oh. by Carapus. Sent instantly back that stun full of Weeha. Shadow, he's there. Chrono's up. Moonlight Shadow will not protect the Mirana. No spells Now bottom there. lane because they found the Death Prophet. But Death oh. Prophet, what? She blinks away. No one attacked what? her. She just gets her out. She had the Yule Scepter as well. With the Exorcism up, DC was well, hoping to kill her up before it could do a lot of damage. Now she'll bring it back over. Something a little bit longer left on it. Timberstar up for Faith. Gets the stun. Now the exit will go to work. Misery prepping the epicenter. Burrow strikes forward. Please going down with the fortunes end. The save is huge. Resolutions, time dilation. Now this fight. Sucks has the TP out for DC. They're losing everything, including the kitchen sink. Rotating around, looking for an opening. Middle lane, blink, fire strike, a death prop, and the arrow will connect. That's a good five seconds. Innocence getting ripped apart by resolution. He's still got the false promise on to blink, but the life just won't be there. Blink is guaranteed dead when he hits the ground from the damage, and it will happen. Clinks will take the kill. Cold Embrace keeping misery up. Now it's Faith Bianca. Resolution finding a triple kill. Digital Chaos have just pulled out the team fight of their life. The dewarding happened, so DC definitely know that wings are around Roshan. They're gonna group bump, smirk up. Remember, without the exorcism, there's not a lot of quick damage arriving from wings. So Roshan at now 2k life. They're a little bit too far away here, DC. So Roshan will go down to wings. The question is, they want to keep fighting. Sentries are down. Leap up, looking for the chrono. Leaps away, however. Timbersaw has the Yule Sash. He gets the Yule Scepter up. He's trying to avoid the time dilation. The chrono! It got a resolution! That's a big one! They need to find the kill! Ships on the way in a resolution! Crushed on the hull! Zuxka also has to cold embrace, but there's too much damage there to still find that kill. 
X mark him back. Weeha thought he might get out of this one. The epicenter arrives from Misery. Minimal damage. Wings can just tank through it. Misery, silence, nukes. He's got enough life. He's moving north and will it be enough while the battle happens in the pit? Misery will die. DC lose four and Wings. Wow. The scan comes out from Radiant Side. They don't find anyone in Viz. They know the Clinks isn't there. And here they go. Blink triggers the exorcism. Up oh, to the tier three tower. They wanted to be able to spam this with the Timber Salt and the Winter Wyvern, but they're nowhere close. The T3's gonna fall before they really get any damage. Yep, now the jump comes in. Quick chain away after he blinks forward. Bar a strike. It connects with the Death Prop and the Chrono. We are a move. Shadow catches two again. The Torrent combo. They move down towards Moon with a double stop from Faith. They ensure the kill, no buyback available for the Timber Saw. And Clinks is still waiting for an opportunity. Resolution sitting outside the base, he doesn't know where to go. Blink borrowed forward. Blink takes and wears off, however, so all the life kicks back into her misery. Called out another double stun from Faith Bian. Jump forward from Shadow, looking for the damage and a time block first in on Weeha. This could be it. A triple kill for Shadow. The cast is good, however. Nix has been brought down. The arrow flies forward. Missed this target. Resolution needs to pump in more damage. The gem stolen by the by Shadow. As he'll run back out through the front lines, the staff ball dodged by the first Manta. Still got hit by the secondary one. It's Clinks. Where is this control? Where is this damage? It just isn't there. The silence on Murano means he can't arrow. They see Innocence TPing out. It's going to be too late. The TP was more than well completed. They do not have a creep wave with them, but they can start a pincer. Innocence oh. might get picked up by Resolution. Oh, can they do it? There's a Ghost Scepter. You can't pick off Jack. Yes, he can now. Diffuser Blade is up. Turns it off. The curse. It holds Death Prophet in position. Shadow jumps over, but now he's in range of it. Weeha with the start ball. Not enough damage. They have to force up back to Winter Wyvern. Away from Blink. Go goes from well off the mark. And Realm Rizzery is the stun there. One second, two seconds. Shadow double hit. Nice and quick. Finds the pick off on Misery. All he wants to do is retreat. Still alive and healthy on the side of Wings, and with no BKB on Cleeks, they're gonna have to hope for a miracle here. Exorcism is down, however, a miracle's been eliminated. Moo, there goes your shark from forward. Arrow flies in off target. Nice hit from Weeha, but the better hit from Faith Beyond. He has been godlike this game. Another big stun. Resolution, he'll finally bring down Blink. There is a spike carapace available. Resolution, no BKB charge, so he'll stun up himself. Chakram, or you can just timber chain into the whirling death. Gem can be recovered as Moo, hot on the tails of Ice. Does he have the damage? Whirling death. One punch. There it is. Moo gets a double kill. But the damage has been done. A full raxing on mid and bottom lane done by Wings. And even that, like you got an Aghanim set from the Nix Assassin bottom lane. They initiate Ice Ice. They want the kill. The stun is there on Misery as Yule set protects Ice Ice again. Misery four stop now. The double ones. DC. They just need a bail out here. But Misery pulled back. Cold and Brace will keep him alive a little bit longer. Barra strikes up for him as the Chrono on the back lines. They found resolution. It's a big kill! Moon needs to turn the damage around. Innocence, he'll be ripped apart by the shark room. And he will go down. The curse is too late to take the attention away from Wings. And now Epicenter. Misery will also jump in. Marana dies on the left. Misery, four stuff out. Shadow, hot on the tails. And Clinks cannot get caught out like that. Like, if they can recover the gem. I think it's more so like Shadow always finding the right targets with the Chronosphere. He that, knows that the Clinks is the only one that can really do damage to them. Rana's going to see it. Edict. That courier has traveled the whole earth. He's, what is he waiting? Drop the TP scroll. Now the courier, all well, the silence. Yules will dispel. Support's coming over. It's there from the Winter Wyvern. But with the blood, it'll be enough. The Bloodborne Timber Saw. He's not going to pop. They force up him out. Mr. Timber Chain. They pop him. The gems on the ground. And there's no buyback. 80 seconds without the Timber Saw. DC. They're scrambling away. Soxa needs some help. Misery's there, but again with the silence. Four star up. Nice arrow from Wee. Hitting Blink on the back lines. They bar a strike forward. Blink is low with a splinter. It's not enough damage. Shadow the Chronosphere. Resolution! He walked into it. The damage is there from Shadow. Resolution is gone. And with him, maybe the host of the game. GG! Wings will take game number two. What a god on this face's boy. 20 kills, zero deaths, perfect Chronospheres. Resolution tried to all in with the rapier at the end, but no death pact. Walking in a chrono, just a lot of mistakes from DC as they crumble in game number three. Yeah, that the big tailing, the big story is that bottom lane missing of stun after stun. You can see how DC, the smile turns quickly upside down as wings.
have a flawless game and you gotta say it it's the way you do it non-melk style 20 for zero <laughs> on the faceless void the anti-melk is the shadow award a perfect faceless void game from him a great game for wings the Tyrosaur top lane uh, Ice Ice being cancelled. That's four sticky napalm charges on the vengeful spirit. She can't get away from this. There's no extra help. Zux is gonna drop right now. Blink burns him, but Misery looking for some revenge. Ice Ice dropping low. Misery void in three seconds, two seconds. He just slow him down, stopping the turn rate to Blink. Definitely gonna be happy with that. Like I said, if you can get damage farm, we hard trouble in mid lane. Dropping low, he's got Dark Pact available. He's burning out at the moment into the tree line. Faith that's gonna get caught in by the creep wave. The attacks from the tower. Max, this is gonna be an extremely tough. Actually, he has no yeah. pounce. Yeah, he's got Shadow Dance, however. But the stomp, the stun, the magic missile. From Sarksko will Zap be able to help out enough. Slark, pounce still on cooldown for four more seconds, but Moonlight Shadow. From Resolution will allow DC to make a break to the tree line. We hard. Okay, it looked like he was thinking of turning around and going for another opening. Shadow is fairly low, but it's bottom lane. Innocence, silence dump, the moo whirling deaths him down. Faith looking for a revenge, but it's top lane where they're about to initiate onto Shadow with the Dark Pact to Magic Missile. The stomp will force them to split, but back on bottom lane. Faith moving back to his own tier one tower. Moo body blocking it up. The silence is there. Whirling death. I'll just use Shark from Timber Chain. No, no! Moo goes too far to the side. Good timing considering how Paul early game was. Misery. Yeah, they found him out. They push him back, and Misery will burn, or will he? He can't get to the other side of the tree line, but maybe with Batrider caught out, the ET split is coming in. DC needs to split. Arrow is not available for the moment. Chakram doesn't actually reach up to wings, but Weehar is in, and he's looking for the Batrider. The perfect leash, Batrider comes down to the ground, the Firefly will wear off. And so with all of his live faith, a little bit too deep himself, the Chakra flies out, and now it's just fight after fight. Maybe going the way here for DC, Moo goes in deep. Reactive armor charges don't exist for him. We looking for a weak support like the Keeper of Light. He has scattered out. Yeah, where is that, that target? Instead, he finds, well, not the targets he wants. He found ET. Cole pulls him back out over the Shark and flies forward. ET, not enough damage to kill him until the Timber Chain from Move connects. ET splitter well off the mark. And they look for more. The Courier into the tree lines. Blink kept out by resolution as he's finally rotated up from the mid, but Wings fighting back behind the T1 tower. On the 15 seconds till he's up, that arrow flies. Five seconds on the axe. We pounces over the trees and in comes Moo. They have the damage. Wings under their own tier one tower will be slaughtered. Shadow has his blink of bubble. They need more stuns and the damage. Shadow blinks out, but the owner is killing him off. Shadow will die here. Nothing will stop this. Even the flame break can't buy the space. I'm not quite certain what Resolution's waiting for. He's just sitting in the middle lane for the creep wave to arrive. The call from Faith the Axe. Oh, Batrider gets hit by the arrow. The splitter is good, but then the leap into double starfall. The magical damage is too much for Wings. Moo will survive. He was the one they wanted, and it was Weeha who gets the double kill. And Gem now goes away of Night Stalker. He almost has his axe and the gem complete. This is disastrous for Wings. Wings the kill. Wings actually hunting the kill. He walks up the high ground under the tier three towers. He wants Ice Ice. The call of silence is there for Misery. The arrow be soaked up by the free wave, but it doesn't matter. Ice Ice is already down. Well, the arrow That's misses, trade. but Weeha tracks. He finds Blink. The pounce forward. Faith gets the call off. You still got a decent amount of essence shifted in Faith. The Blade Mill will protect him, now last two. They pull we in, but he already triggered the Dark Pack, breaking free the Mana Void! Shadow won't be enough! The Swamp Power for Weeha! Pull back in range of Innocence Mana League! A one-for-one -one trade off for now. The Culling Blade ensures the kill. The Moo, Timber Chase forward. There was only one tree there for him to work with, because the range of two sentries, but the arrow from Resolution connects on Anti-Mage. Will there be enough damage? He'll blink himself out to safety. DC, not that healthy. Again, this Mana League being a pain in the butt. But that's why you'll set the up. Timber Chain cancels, a very short one anyway, but Misery moves over. No night time available. He's also got the gem. Wings, they'll follow this one to the end of the earth. The spirit's on top. The split of Misery's got nowhere to go. Stunned up by the Mana League. He'll give the gem over to actually no resolution. I thought they might have done a handoff. Doesn't happen. A move dying to Wings. The blink. Oh, it gets interrupted. You'll set the. He had to take off the burn effect of that flame break up to the trees, but he knows he's dead. Great chase by Wings. What a flame break right there. He had the Faith Observer Beyond, one. He's side, looking though. to jump out, but he actually gets the blink call over on the Misery. So the jump out, the ET splitter, they really want to get that kill, and they got it. The Vengeful Spirit trying to swap them out. The Moonlight Shadow won't do enough. The Axe finds the kill. Moves some really good damage though with the Shark from, but it's just the last two. Two good for Wings. They catch out.
the slot, they get three down there, they can finish what they started, the death of Roshan. This Observer War saw that Night Stalker, that swap just crushed them as two heroes got hit by the Earth Splitter. This next defense from DC, it has to work. The arrow, five seconds Ooh. over on the Axe, Resolution jumps in, the double star fall damage, they'll bring down the Axe. So finally they get a, a small break, but Wings have rotated over the swap, instantly cancelling out the lasso. Move! Huge damage! Connell is gone! Ice Ice might join him in a moment as Murata blinks forward. They've got the damage, this could be the fight. We leaping forward, the BKBs break Batrider free. Moose still in the neighborhood shadow. There's your abyssal blade, the mana void on a resolution. Doing heavy work with the shark from doing more of it. Shadow is burning inside of it. The agency model will trigger. Blink is away on low life. Do they have enough to kill the anti maga once again? Uh, he'll blink out. Moostix with him. Yule Scepter up. Blink's off cooldown in one second time. Now in comes Blink himself. Flame Break pushing DC away. This will give Shadow just enough space to escape. BKB is like a free kill on Batrider and or Keeper. Wings is coming down. They're looking for a kill on Moo. Almost everyone's here apart from the Mirana. She does have BTs, but they can only TP the tier 2 tower. Now Coddle, 2 3. Can't get the fourth hit. The Shark will do the work. Bash forward with the Abyssal. The arrow. It connects on Shadow. Five seconds done. The ET split up. It's not enough damage yet. Misery still tanking through all of this. The Mana Void. He wants Misery dead with the Moonlight Shadow. They don't have the vision at the moment. Moo will go back into the Moonlight Shadow too. Timber Chain. One second. This will bring him back in range of the tower. Unless they want to fight. Arrows off cooldown. Blink forward. The arrow will miss. Weeha. Wait. Waiting. The ninja out from the trees. Faith triggers the blade mail as well as his BKB. The pounds forward. Faith getting caught in the back of that. Oh, Weeha explodes the mana void. Luckily for the rest of DC, they weren't in range for it, but the stomp forward from my size can go for the stomp. No real way to get away from this one, especially when he gets a blade down by the anti mage. Moo can't chain away. He'll Yule set the rub. The blink taker won't be off cooldown in time, so he just has a suicide when he hits the ground. The blink goes for more, burning up the vengeful spirit with the firefly. Okay, it is confirmed. Shadow can bash on command. <laughs> What was that? Right on the timber chain, right as when Slark was about to escape. And I talked about it in the Bachelor versus BKB. BKB, you would really love to have it for that fight. Mm -hmm. As they attack into the tier three tower, trying to get that one step closer to the Aegis. As now Timber locked down the double star fall, but Moo is too low. He has five back available. The Culling bladed out. Slark up four seconds until he's alive. No fortification, arrow, it doesn't connect, Innocence, the horse tail doesn't catch it, the swap out. Sarks are again sacrificing himself just to make sure they can get that double damage out from the Starfall of Resolution. Good stomp, Moo, Yule's up in towards the air, he has a way to get out, thanks to the Moonlight Shadow, they can play the invis game, Shadow going in very, very deep, gets the stun over on Misery, but Weeha returns it with a bash of his own, and now with a jump out, Resolution leaves the tree line, he is out of mana, he can't get out of this one, he can blink back into the fight in just a moment, Faith BN, so low, where's the damage from DC? Moo, it's a dive back for him, Shadow's looking for the kill, they found Weeha! The Bats control the dead! Buyback is available for him though, and he'll need to use it. The rest of DC are dying out in front of their own tier 3 tower. Resolution back into the fight by the Culling Blade. Kills off the Nice Stalker, giving wings the pump up they need to go inside. They look for the last two and they've got it. It's the Slug. Arrow flies in. It'll be a five second stun over on Blink. The wings, they brought down the melee racks. Shadow, Mana Styles out. Weeha has to bounce himself out of this one. He moves up to the up to the side shop. Shadow's here. Weeha initiates. He needs to kill and get the hell out. One more attack. But he has to bail. 23 HP. No, Weeha. He forced the issue too hard. Will he go down? Yes, he will. 90 seconds. The door has been opened by Weeha's aggressiveness. And Wings. It is a landslide as the grass drop. And they're gonna try and break DC's glass. The blink in the lasso! Misery instantly swapped back out again. Shadow's in pretty deep, but he'll come over. Sucks are already on the sidelines. Misery, now he's being controlled. The Bissell Blade is still up. Misery's gone. The Kali Blade, that could be in right now. DC on the ropes as wings. They look towards the mid racks. Bring down the tier three tower. Moo trying to slow it up with a Chakram. Resolution out of arrows and also out of teammates. DC. They have Slark up in 20. They'll have one more opportunity, and that's to defend the tier three racks on top. There it is. The mid, the melee is down. Rain tracks will follow. Wings, do they play safe? Do they back it up? No, in they go! Resolution, welcome back and goodbye. 
You have buyback available, and here comes the push. This is the defense now. DC, you either hold or you die. As wings, they rip down the tier three tower. Weha wants to go out through the back lines and attack. Now the lasso, they found Tuska. Weha ripped apart the buybacks. It won't be enough to game of play. Wings are your international 2016 champions. Terrific display of Dona. You did enough to be put through the group stages, but only losing games to GC. Two in total throughout the entire playoff. One to Techies, one with the punch. And now they topple DC in a 3-1 victory here in Key Arena. Black has to be happy that anti is going to be plastered there for a full year. And we can be as happy as that as Slack's not being on the Aegis. Terrific battle. Big props to Digital Chaos. They overcame so much to get to this point. They played terrific Dota. They made the meta, but Wings broke it to take the championship, to take the biggest trophy in the Dota 2 calendar year. And finally, they found their consistency in the finest of times. It only matters during this month, Toby. That's right. The international is the big one. You can win as many majors as you want to, but if you take TI, you become immortal. As Digital Chaos, well deserving of it. Very, very well deserving of their second position. And now but wings. wings. They can greet their fans. And they claim what every Dota 2 player wants in their life. The Aegis of the Immortal! It belongs to Wings! And gentlemen, the champions of the International! Wings! Ladies and gentlemen, the International 2016 Champions are Wings Game.